I'm here in my backyard to give you an introduction on using water to move items and creatures. Here I've built a channel to guide the water and I've filled it with a boat and a shitload of dirt. So let's whip out our buckets and add some water to the equation and see what happens. Mmm, look at that dirty water. Probably don't want to drink this. The dirt in the boat got pushed downstream by the flow of the water. This seems like a simple concept, but on a big scale it can have powerful implications. But before I get too fancy, I want to discuss some things that you need to remember when working with water. The first is that water only travels 8 blocks from where it starts, unless it finds a place to flow down. This is going to matter a lot later. Notice the ninth torch is still alive. If we do build our channels flowing downhill, any items in the stream will flow to the very end of the channel unless they're interrupted by something, such as a break in the water or a competing water flow. Out of the way, chicken. If you let the water stop at 8 blocks, any items in the stream will get pushed into the dry ninth block. We can use this to separate items from the stream itself. If we want to transport creatures, we don't necessarily need to build on a slope. We just need to place pressure plates just behind each water stream to prevent backflow. Unfortunately, items don't go very far with this design. But creatures, on the other hand, are big enough to get pushed along by the stream. Come on, sheep. Time to go. Remember what I said earlier about powerful implications? We can push these creatures to their death in various ways. I suggest anyone faint of heart averts their eyes right about now. Yeah, you're dead. If we apply this concept on a massive scale and put a roof over our heads, we've got ourselves a gravity trap. Monsters spawn in these cells, fall into these deep channels so they can't get out, and get pushed towards this pit. So let's crank up the difficulty and watch this bitch in action. It's kinda hard to see, so I'll mark the channels and each time a monster falls in. Start off with the creeper off to the left. Kinda slow start. Okay, some more spawns back there now. Seeing some action. Lots of creepers. That's good. Means lots of gunpowder. If you put a remote door in front of your pit like I do, it only takes about two minutes to look like this. So let's head downstairs and open the floodgates. The water up top funnels the monsters into a pit. They fall their death in shallow water, and that current funnels their items into one central location. With this build, some of them survived the fall, so I've got the lava here to finish them off. Items fall into this hole right here, and they land on this altar for easy collection. I may show specific specs on this build in a separate video if there's enough demand, but I really just wanted to show you how you can use water currents to your advantage. So it's about time I take my land boat back home. Hope you learned something. This thing is so damn slow.